Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, I've got a special video in store for you guys. Um, if you don't know about Mog Hunter, he is a well-known VX Ace uh, scripter and other RPG makers as well, but he's now doing, he or she, is now doing uh, MV plugins. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add enemy HP bars and special weather effects to your game. So to start off, you're going to go over to Mog Hunter's website and download the Master Demo MV. The website is up here. It's also going to be uh, uh, there. Uh, there will also be a link in the description below. So you're going to go to the one of these mirrors, download the file. Once you have that file downloaded, um, you're going to extract it somewhere and it'll be a folder. So once you have that folder, you're going to go into that folder and then you're going to uh, go to the JS folder and the plugins folder. And here's all of the, the custom plugins that Mog has, Mog Hunter has made. So you're going to copy all of these and put it into your game folder. If you don't know how to get to your game folder, all you have to do is go to uh, game and then open folder and you'll see you have your folder right here. So you would copy the, copy those files, put them right here into your plugins folder. Once you've done that, you can go to the puzzle piece and add them. For this tutorial, you're going to need to add the Mog Enemy HP Bars, the Mog Weather EX. But once you've done that, you're going to have to copy some files from that uh, game folder, uh, some more files rather, uh, into your game folder. So you're going to go into Image, you're going to copy this entire folder that says Weather, and you're going to put that into your game folder, right here in the IMG folder. Uh, once you, after you've done that, you're going to add uh, the enemy HPs. Uh, there's two. There's two uh, files. They are somewhere in here. I think they're in system. Let's see. Uh, yes, in system. So you're going to add enemy HP underscore a PNG and enemy HP underscore b dot PNG. Copy those those two files and put them into your image system folder. Once you've done that. Basically, uh, and you have the plugin activated, you're done. So let's have a look at these weather effects and uh, the enemy HP bars. So I'll show you how to call on the weather effects, but I'm going to show them to you first. So you have the leaf one. There's like these light particle effect one. There's flowers. Yeah, Mog Hunter is uh, pretty talented. Some really cool looking ones. Oops, that was the same. Some cloud effects going on. Some more light particles. We got snow effects. That's a good one. Some brown leaves. Some bouncing around light. Simple rain. This one's awesome. It's kind of appropriate because it's a volcano right there. And the falling green leaves. And you know what's also cool about these weather effects is they persist into battle. So you can see that we still have the weather effects going on in battle. So now let's look at the enemy HP bars. As you can see underneath the enemy, there's an HP bar. It's not moving too much because these slimes have uh, close to a million HP. But trust me, they work. Uh, and they work beautifully and you can specify how long they're they'll stay up uh, depending on uh, The plugin so I'll show you that now Show you a couple of my skills Some of the action sequences. I'm going to show you guys how to make that uh, some of these action sequences later on in the video oh, I guess I'll show you one more That's uh, in a future video to come. I'll show you how to do that. So to specify um, how, how long the enemy HP bars, you're going to uh, edit the duration. So uh, if we were to take this number higher, I think this is the number of frames. It's not in English, so I'm guessing. But uh, if we were to just do a few play tests, we could, uh, we could figure that out. So 
if we set we doubled that that's 240 it was 120 I'm imagining that's how many frames so let's get into battle real quick here and uh, see if it lasts a little bit longer Yeah, I, I would imagine that, let's, let's wait a second, is it going to disappear? Yeah, so the, you would raise the number to keep the HP bar up longer. Uh, how you call on your weather effects is uh, once you have the plugin installed, you're going to just do a plugin command. All you have to do is issue a plugin command by going to the third tab at the bottom, plugin command, and you're going to use these codes right here. Weather, uh, uh, space, uh, colon space a number space another number space uh, leaf and this is calling on the graphic that we imported uh, I'm not exactly sure because the uh, I can't really read the help file but I know that if you just copy it as you see here uh, you will be able to call on these uh, these weather effects so um, what I guess what I'll do is I'll copy paste all of the the weather command the plugin commands into the description below that way you guys can copy paste into a text file and then uh, import them however you like now uh, keep in mind that this is uh, from mog hunters page so definitely go to the website here check out mog hunters uh, youtube show them some uh, show them some support some support uh, let them know that you appreciate their scripts now i don't know if you have permission to use these into a commercial game so you have to ask for permission to use these um, Subscribe to their channel. Uh, Mog Hunter has two different channels. Uh, the main one here, the second one here, and the their main one there. Uh, Mog Hunter. So subscribe to their YouTube channel. Um, give them some comments. Let them know that you like their scripts and uh, show support. Uh, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys found this informative and you are psyched as I am about getting HP bars finally. This is a, a, a really great addition. And the weather effects, they just look beautiful. So thank you, Mog Hunter. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. And we'll see you in the next tutorial.